Welcome back, Drink Stuff fans. I am Steve the Barman. In today's video, I've got three awesome cocktails that you can make with ODK's watermelon puree, obviously sold by Drink Stuff. Don't switch off if you haven't got watermelon puree. It's absolutely fine. These cocktails will be relevant if you want to buy a fresh watermelon and kind of cube it, sort of slice it up, cube it, chunk it, and then you can puree it yourself out of there. But I just happen, I just believe in these purees. They're absolutely amazing. Half puree, half sugar based, long life, shelf stable, perfect. Uh, perfect to have uh, for your home bars and for pubs and bars and that. So let's dive straight on. Uh, the three cocktails I'm going to show for you today. The first one is amazing, uh, flipping up an Aperol Spritz. Uh, the second one I'm going to do a kind of watermelon margarita for you. And the third one is a vodka-based cooler. So let's just dive straight on with the first one, flipping up the Aperol Spritz uh, watermelon absolutely delicious one of my favorite versions of an Aperol spritz now for me personally I prefer a glass like that a sort of stemless wine glass um, for my, my spritzes and things like that I don't really like the whole gin balloon and the wine glasses however that's not one of drink stuff's glasses so I'm not going to use that that's actually branded gin it's Bullard's one of Bullard's gin glasses so I won't I'll save that Going to try and use sort of drink stuff products. So, uh, gin balloon, wine glass, doesn't really matter. You could go highball glass if you really wanted to. Not a problem. I'm going wine glass for this. So, first ingredient we want is uh, 15 mil. With these purees, I don't think uh, a lot of the time you don't need a 25 mil shot. These are so vibrant in flavour, just burst. So, 15 mil will do you half the time, sometimes even 10 mil. But experiment, have a little play for yourselves. There's no right or wrong. Your palate is the boss, not me, your palate. Right, 15 mil, one of five of watermelon puree. And I, I do the purees first so I can uh, wash the rest of them, measure out with the rest of the ingredients that are coming. So 15 mil, uh, we'll leave the lid off for the time being. That could just sit to one side, perfect. Right, ingredient number two, uh, I'm going straight for the Aperol, which is, uh, everyone knows what an Aperol spritz is, kind of last three, four years. They've got absolutely huge, uh, obviously come, and a massive in France as well, but obviously come from Italy, um, just delicious. They're just Aperol soda and uh, Prosecco, but I've just got a little flip on this for you. So uh, 50 mil, double bubble of your Aperol, I'm just using the little end just to kind of wash the rest of the watermelon puree out. There we go. So that's 50 mil there. Uh, next ingredient I'm wanting is just some soda water. And I'm just using, I'm just using Tesco soda water. No right or wrong, it doesn't, doesn't matter. I've, done, I've got a bottle of Schweppes down here. I've, I've done the taste comparison. I can't taste any difference if I'm honest. So just, so it's about a pound cheaper a bottle as well. Right, uh, and I'm just going 25 mil. 25 mil in there uh, and then the final well there's two i'm going to put uh, another ingredient in afterwards but you don't have to uh, i'm just going to i'm just going to give you inspiration to flip it up so um now instead of normal prosecco i'm going rose prosecco i think this works even better with um watermelon it's just lovely this bottle is more for azante it's been it was open through the week so uh, and again i'm just going 50 mil double bubble there we go. I don't drink that much Prosecco at home, so I only have little bottles. Right, now, the final ingredient I'm gonna do for this, just for me, just to kind of give you uh, some inspiration. As you can probably see over that shelf, that is uh, what we call cocktail bitters. They're like, for bartenders, for people like us, they're like uh, salt and pepper to a, a chef or a cook or whatever. They just bring out and give you kind of little different flavor twists. That's not the only brand, it's just kind of what I use on my other channel. Uh, you can get uh, brands like that, Lef um, I call them Lefe, the Fee Brothers, there's no right or wrong there. Now, the bitters I'm going to use for this, and I just think it works an absolute treat, are Miss Betty's Bitters Grapefruit Bitters. Or you could do the exact same thing if you wanted to with a fresh piece of grapefruit and just kind of peel and get the bitters off there. But I've always got bitters there, and I just think, I'm just going to add in, just for me, you don't have to, it won't, you know, it won't dramatically change the, the recipe there for you. So don't think you have to, but just kind of get those lovely sort of deep grapefruit notes going through. I'm just going for a third of a pipette. Uh, it's a bit too much in there. There we go, that'll do. But a third of a pipette of those bitters and they are delicious. Right, I'm just gonna uh, stick a couple of cubes of ice in there. 
as you can see, the Prosecco, it's got a little bit of life in it still. A little bit of life. And I've got, I've got, as I say, I've got some chunks of watermelon going on in there as well. Now what I'm going to do is just quickly give that a little stir. Obviously, if you've got fresh Prosecco, don't stir it too uh, violently. Otherwise, the, you'll get rid of the fizz. But just give that a quick stir like that. Combine that watermelon that's just at the bottom. Mm. It's quite, there is a bit of fizz in there, actually. Uh, top out. It's amazing. This Aperol spritzes will never be the same again. So again, just uh, top out with ice. And then just to garnish, I've got a slice of watermelon there. And I actually think, I actually like the whole mint thing with this as well. Kind of just a sprig of mint, kind of the whole green and red. And there we go, there's watermelon spritz. Delicious, I promise you. Once you have this, there is no going back. Monin, uh, do I haven't got? I don't actually have. I've got Monin vanilla here. I need to get. I need to get some of their, uh, the Monin syrups here as well for the drink stuff videos. Uh, but Monin do do a watermelon syrup as well if you really, really don't want that. But as I say, the ODK purees, I just, I just love them. I've got a whole lot behind me down here. They're just brilliant, right? Mm. Hands down, amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. So that's the first cocktail for you, a watermelon spritz. Let's crack on with the second cocktail. Second cocktail, I'm gonna rock these out. Um, I'm gonna do the third cocktail in the other Diablo glass as well, but it's Diablo glasses for trick stuff. I love these, proper solid, proper heavy, really cool cocktail. So this is a shaken cocktail. As I say, it is gonna be essentially um, a, a watermelon margarita. Amazing, absolutely amazing. Watermelon with tequila, I don't know why, just works. So this is essentially a standard watermelon, marg uh, standard margarita uh, recipe with just the addition of um, the puree. And I'm just going to talk you through this sugar element because you'll need to balance that out very slightly for you. Right. Uh, again, for this 15 at 1.5, five, I'm going to use the big end this time. Uh, 15 mil. There we go. Of watermelon puree. So we leave that there, just keep that to one side. Right, and then we're going very much kind of uh, margarita specs here. So ingredient number one is obviously your tequila. Um, no right or wrong for this, Blanco or Reposado, whichever your favorite kind of tequila is, absolutely no problem there. You've got, I said the brand I use, if you've got coconut tequila, I'm just going Blanco, that's all. Uh, 50 ml, double bubble. And that just washes the rest of that sort of puree out of the measure there. So 50 ml double bubble of that. Uh, now I'm going for some sort of orange liqueur. Uh, I've mentioned this time and time again on my channel. It's just the brand that I use, uh, Fortunella. It's more of a kumquat uh, flavored liqueur. Uh, but you could go, the equivalence to that would be something like uh, dry orange curacao or uh, Grand Marnier, things like that. You could, if you really wanted to as well, go the other way, you could go Quattro or Triple Sec. No right or wrong, you just kind of need some sort of orange uh, liqueur there. Uh, and 15 mil, one of five of uh, an orange, decent orange liqueur. Standard for margaritas. Right, now I'm going for some lemon juice. I'm gonna use ODK's uh, Long Life Shelf Stable. It's just fresh lemon juice with uh, an antioxidant in, in it that's used by the wine industry just to keep it. They do a lemon as well. Uh, so I'm just going 25 mil of uh, lime juice here, 25. Now, the sugar element in this uh, is up to you. Some people don't have sugar in the margaritas anyway. Some people do. Some people will, I, I actually use product like that, agave nectar in there. It's all on your um, palates, that's all. As this is sugar-based for me, I don't personally actually need any more sugar in that drink, okay? That'll be perfectly balanced, perfectly sweet enough for my palate. If you need a touch of extra sugar, then go for it. All I would say is it's a lot easier to sweeten cocktails up at the end than it is to sour them back down. So I always say, err on the side of caution, if you think that might be sweet enough already, fine, shake it down, uh, and then test it after you've shaken it, okay? If you need a touch more sugar after that, then add a bit more sugar, fine, absolutely fine. Another little cool flip as well you can do, if that's really too sweet for you, is you could use um, some salt. You could just have a little little pinch of um, 
sort of rock salt or sea salt, just a, not too much, just a little pinch of salt in there. I'm just going to do that, and that'll just and make that'll just help the recipe as well. It will accentuate those watermelon flavours. Right, let's uh, shake that down. Fill it up with ice. Pop your tin on, and then hard, fast shake for about 10, 12 seconds. There we go. Right, when that. Oh. Right, uh, that smells. I love watermelon. Watermelon and tequila. I don't know why it works. I do not understand why that works so well, but it just does. If you're in a pub or bar, so I always say fresh ice in there, and you're going for the whole premium thing. It's so you kind of want to give the customer the best experience possible. Fresh ice, don't be tight. If you're at home, do what I call shake and dump. No one's going to sack you for using that ice again. The only thing is that ice is already kind of melted and diluted, so it won't stay um, frozen for too much longer, whereas fresh ice will, okay? Um, just to top this off, here we go. I'm just going crushed ice on top of there. Perfect, and then to garnish, whatever you fancy. I've got another bit of watermelon there. You could go a lime wheel, whatever you fancy. What's that? You would not believe how much a little tiny pinch of salt makes the difference that makes to that. It just brings out, it kind of mellows it out but just brings the watermelon through, you get the big bowl tequila notes. Oh, simply stunning. Right then, the third and final cocktail, as I said, gonna use the other Diablo glass. It's just brilliant glasses, brilliant. Right, uh, again, another shaken cocktail, this one. Uh, and this is kind of a vodka-based uh, cooler drink. It's kind of what it just called tall uh, mixed drinks with a, a, some sort of juice, either apple juice normally or cranberry juice. Uh, it's just the name. It's what they kind of give them coolers. Right, uh, again, 15 mil. That's all I'm going for of uh, watermelon puree. One five. Lovely, lovely, jubbly. Uh, and if I haven't mentioned, but to kind of get the equivalent, what you would do is you get. I don't know. I've got I've got three little chunks left here. You probably want about double that, maybe, of fresh watermelon. About 10, 15 ml of sugar syrup, and just kind of muddle it down, uh, and just kind of blend it into a juice. And that you would get the equivalent there. Okay. But I say these are cheap, and they're, they're just long life and shelf stable. Amazing. Right. Uh, now let's go for the rest of the cocktail. So vodka. I'm going for this one. I'm just going to use plain vodka. However. Again, it's no brand affiliation. Uh, I put this disclaimer in all my videos. I don't work with any particular brand. These are just a brand that I absolutely love because they absolutely pop of flavor. If absolute is your little go-to, absolutely fine. Uh, but there's just some cool stuff. And you can do great little hints, uh, tricks and flips with this as well. Plain vodka, I'm gonna use in there. You could go raspberry, uh, raspberry vodka, raspberry and watermelon works really well. Could go, I've got watermelon and lime vodka there. Amazing, apple and lime. We know apple and watermelon goes well together. Just get creative. Let, this is just purely to give you kind of inspiration of basic drinks that you can make at home. So, say I'm just going for a plain vodka, 50 mil, double bubble. Pour that in there. Right, and then I'm going to, just to make it a bit of fun, everyone's favorite green liqueur, Midori. We love a bit, love a bit of Midori. Easily get this in most supermarkets. Uh, 15 mil, one five. There we go. Uh, then I'm just going for some uh, lime juice. Again, ODK's lime juice. I again, this will be up to you. I'm going. I'm going. Fit to, uh, I'm going 10 mil actually. 10 mil. I don't think it needs too much more. I'm not going to add any sugar, again, because that'll be perfectly sweet enough for me. If you feel like you need a tiny bit of sugar in it, it's fine. Add some sugar. No one's, no one, the cocktail police aren't going to come round and knock on your door and go, oi, what are you doing? Final ingredient, cranberry juice. Um, just cranberry and raspberry juice. Another alternative you could use is just plain cranberry juice. Uh, and I'm going, I'm going 75 mil here. Sometimes I do 50 mil. 
it's just a bigger glass that's all uh other times i do 75 mil you do not you do not need to whack in 150 mil so don't think you have to drown your drown your cocktails and juices or whatever right uh fresh ice in here And then again, we're gonna shake this down. That'll be fine, let's use that. Hard, fast shake, we need to get that watermelon in there. Blend it up, so hard, fast shake. Right, that's all nicely shaken together. Again, as I just said, pub bar, fresh ice in there. If you're impressing people as well, if you're impressing guests, fresh ice in there, strain it over the top. Let's do one. Let's do it. There we go, fresh ice in there, that'll do. Take a Hawthorne strainer and just strain. If you're at home, just do what I just said for that last one, shake and dump, use that ice. Right. There we go. It's perfect. I like to just top up with crushed ice. I think it just makes the drinks look pretty on top. Get rid of that one. Yeah, nice bit of crushed ice on top. And then again, got another chunk of watermelon here. Could do another sprig of mint if you wanted to. Just pop that in there. You could do lime, whatever you fancy on top of there. Another little chunk of, let's use that up. Another little chunk of watermelon, look. And there we go. And that is a kind of a cooler, watermelon cooler. So, the little hint of Midori just makes that so much fun. Absolutely delicious. So, I hope you enjoyed that. Make sure you uh, like the video and subscribe to the channel. Uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, if you've got any other watermelon uh, recipes, let everyone else know. Help everyone out. Get some inspiration. So, hit them in the comments below. If not, I'll see you in the very next video.